Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on the beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Uh, please check out the description box, all the nice links, support page, Twitter, Discord. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So what I want to just talk about today is I want to get started with the button class and stuff. So I created a button class here. Okay, so I want you to just create a button class like we always do, which is the private public all that stuff okay and I want you to go into main menu state.h and I want you to just include it for now okay just very simply just include it um, include button.h okay and we're not going to use this right now because we have a few things that we need to take care of uh, before we get started with this okay now those few things are quite important um, and they are the mouse position so in order to get a button obviously you want to be able to click on it and if you can't click on it uh, yeah well you got a problem so to do that we're gonna probably have to um, probably have to update that now the question is if we should keep that in game as a game engine thing or if that should be state specific because every state might not need the mouse positions or if they do it might be a good thing to have all right because if every state wants them, we might just create that in, in the state, in the state class. So every state has access to them, but they need to update them if they wanna, if they wanna have them. All right. So, what I wanna do, if we just choose right now, if we just create them in state, there are gonna be three different things. All right, three different ways to do this. Now, the number one way I like to do it is just to create a SF. Um, and probably we'll just create them here. Pull, quit, keybind, support a window. I'm just gonna do it down here. So SF vector 2i, okay, mouse post um, screen, okay, for some reason, if we want that, uh, there are gonna be three different ones. So mouse post screen, mouse post window. Okay, and this is a 2U as well, an unsigned. And this is going to be mouse post view. And this is the one we're going to use mostly because this is when you have a little camera in your game, this view position, mouse position view, is going to uh, keep track of where your mouse is within the view and not the window per se. So it's going to be a little different. So if we move our camera way, way, way to the left, the mouse position view is going to be like 40,000 X, right? Not, not your window can't be that big, but it will be way, way, way to the right. I mean, uh, so, so that way these three things are really, really nice. Now what I want to do is at the update, I want to do a virtual void update, update mouse positions. Okay. I'm just going to do that and just keep it empty define it in state because every state's going to be able to access this uh, and here we go so this mouse post screen equals get sf mouse get position all right simple not relative to anything now we'll see if it's a 2 2 i okay so i have to go into state.h and change that to a 2 i so i always forget these every damn time I think mouse position window is a 2u but we'll we'll see just in a second here so then I'm just gonna do this mouse post window is mouse I guess position but instead of just that I'm just gonna do this window in here and I have to obviously dereference it so that's a 2i as well but this one is a little more complicated so to convert that coordinate in the window and with the view we're gonna have to do use something that the window has a function that the window has and it's called we're gonna keep this and it's called uh, this window uh, map map pixel to chords okay so it's gonna map a pixel on the on the window to coordinates okay it's gonna be a specific pixel in the world and we're gonna map it to coordinates using the window it knows kind of where your mouse is so it's gonna be cool it's kind of complicated I guess I'm not 100% sure either I'm not gonna pretend I I'm, I'm a pro at this but 
I use it because it works. So there you go. That's why I use it. And now we have all these three things uh, here. Now, what I want to do is in the CPP update, update input, I also want to update the mouse position. So this update mouse positions. Okay. And I want to copy this. Okay. And go ahead and close all but this document. Or just close all documents. GameState.cpp. Go in here into the update and make sure you paste it in here as well. So every state we're going to use this update mouse positions. Okay, so we have those uh, for us to use. I want to close game state. Go back into main menu state. And this is going to be this is going to be great. So in this update, I'm just going to do a std c out this mouse post view, which is important. And I just want to show you what that is. And I want to do dot x a space and then this mouse post view dot y and then we'll be able to see it okay so system cls just clear and then we'll see where this thing is now if i go into game again game.cpp i had two thingies push oh yeah i removed that for testing i removed the push state the game state so just remove that okay just make sure you only have main menu state now when you do that and we run it please 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 be correct okay so there you go see the windows right here and you can kind of I hope you can see where my coordinates are going and you can kind of keep going out of obviously and all that stuff so so that's great if we had a view I could show you how that worked if I move the view to the right this would keep increasing but I'll keep my mouse on the same spot but the numbers would keep increasing. I'm actually pointing on my screen, imagining that you, you can see what I'm pointing to, but you can't obviously because I'm dumb. Um, but yeah, there you go. So now we have these beautiful, beautiful thingies, okay? All this beautiful stuff. All this, all this beautiful stuff. Now, um, going into state.h again, we have to see what we have here. We have init key binds. I also want to do, actually, in main menu state, dot h I'm gonna create a void init font function because we're gonna need fonts here we don't need fonts in every state probably so that's why I'm not gonna init create that in every state but we have our init fonts here alright now I wanna make sure I initialize all the fonts I have and to do that I went in here to my sources or where, or where I have all my source files and everything else uh, I created a fonts folder and I added a font here now you can just copy it from anywhere whatever just put it in here um, a TTF file I, I like this it's kind of it's kind of clean and stuff just for testing purposes I use it here I don't have this licensed or whatever it's just my for testing all right uh, and I have I have other fonts as well but I just chose this because I like how it looks anyway you put that in um, and then we want to load it so when we initialize fonts before I do that I'm actually just gonna call it here this in it fonts here okay okay if this wait first obviously 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 where is this here we go so we got the background I need to create a SF font font in here okay because this is gonna be my font and I'm gonna say this font dot load from file and I'm gonna say um, fonts forward slash uh, what do you call it what do you call it diosis wait I actually have to copy paste that please thank you and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna paste this in and there you go so if that works if it doesn't work I'm gonna do a um, throw actually. I'm gonna say could not load font error main menu state could not load font. I'm just gonna throw that out. Um, but, but if it does load it, it does load it. Okay, otherwise, we'll get that throw. So that's good. A throw is basically just uh, it quits the exits the program and it tells us what happened. Basically, now we need to try and catch all this stuff, but 
we'll just use the throw for now. We'll get into all the other stuff later. It's not that important. I know this will be loaded anyway, so it's cool. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Init fonts, init keybinds. And once we have that font, you will be able to use it, okay? But for now, we did create the button class, but for now we're just gonna chill with that because we run out of time. But in the next video, now we prepared everything. In the next video, we're gonna actually add button, add one button, an exit button, and we're gonna make sure we can we can kind of use it to exit our program, okay, from the main menu. And then you can add another button called game button, and then just keep going like that, and probably, yeah, pro you'll be you'll be fine. Uh, we could add, add all that stuff to state as well. I have to I have to kind of think what I want to do. Uh, so if we had kind of a map for buttons here, we could we could do that. It would help us out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna think about that. Like I said, for now, thank you for watching. Really appreciate all the support. Really means a lot. Uh, check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, and keep working hard. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. All right, bye bye.